What's up guys, welcome back to another Forza 4 video, and this time I think I'm going to go counterclockwise, and we're going to go over to the paint shop and check that out in my sick nasty Toyota. So we're going to enter that. Alright, so we got the design creator. This is really cool, really, really cool, and you can do a lot of cool stuff in it that I don't do. <laughs> but I'll show you how to do it anyway, because there are some really, really awesome artists here. So... Uh, first things first, you can paint the car. That's easy. You can paint the body, whatever color you want. We can put a nice color on this one. I honestly don't mind. Um, the new addition, they used to have just normal and metallics, which is make it a little more shiny. Now they have matted colors, because that's that's big in the uh, it's big in the street racing car culture thing. Not so much in pro racing, <laughs> but it is in car culture. And matte colors absorb. All the, all the, uh, don't reflect light, I mean. You absorb it more. So, you know, you can see the different effect from normal to metallic and then to matted. So, I'm thinking I'm going to put a nice matte white on mine. Because I kind of like the white. Maybe, maybe a little bit of silver. I'm not sure. Um, not, not that. I don't, I don't do weird things. <laughs> I, I, okay, that's a lie. I do weird things, but only sometimes. Um. Yeah, definitely this looks nice. I'm gonna go with that. Right, then you can uh, you can paint the hood separately from the body, of course, which I'm gonna do black, because... Like, let's get real here. Who doesn't? There we go. Nice matte white color with a black head hood. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, the mirrors are fine. Everything's fine. Uh, yeah, you can tint the windows. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of tinted windows, to be honest with you. But the good thing is that if you press Y, you can open up the opacity and you can make it less tinted. And we're going to find 0.3. There you go. Now we're good. Now we're looking good. Wait, did I just back out without saving it? Might be. Hang on. <laughs> Sometimes I, I do that. Okay, hang on. Oops. Okay. Good enough. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're looking sick nasty with the people jumping around the background. I'm trying to, trying to get at me. Um, you could paint rims. I think these are stock. No, these aren't stock. I don't know what the hell these are. I don't remember. Um, let's just make it black. It'll match the bottom better. There we go. See, now we're looking mad pro drift style. Initial D swag. So, anyway. Um, alright, that's the first one. Now you can add decals. Um, yes, thank you. I, I don't care. I, I know. So you can add decals to everything from the front bumper, left side, top hood, right side, rear bumper. There you go. So we'll start on the right side. We'll start a new layer. Um, now this is where you can apply vinyl shape, which are like general geometric things and cool looking things that they have in the game. They've got decals, where... There are these things, you know, like sponsors and such, or stuff that you might want on your car, like you know, Sparco, OZ, Brembo, brakes, yo, stuff like that, PBS rims, um, stuff like that. Or you can load a vinyl group, which are things that you have saved off of the marketplace. So then there's the Forza Motorsport 4 vinyl groups you can load, which are things off of Forza 4, like these adorable things. Yeah, alright. And then, add all from other side is when you can take things that are on the other side of the car, obviously, and put on this side of the car. <laughs> and delete the layers. So, let's just go ahead and put something on the rear bumper. We're going to load a Forza 4 vinyl group. That is all the way at the end. Hockey the Speed Stars. Load. We're going to load that up. Now we're going to position it. And we're going to go right bumper. And we're going to change it to size. And now our left stick will change the size of of it. We're gonna move it up a little more. I don't know where to put this. I'm thinking maybe, maybe over here, maybe in the license plate area. I put it in the where the license plate was before. It seemed to do okay. It wasn't like spectacular looking there. It might have to just be good enough because I honestly don't know where to put this. You can center it. Put it at X0, so it'll be in the middle of the car. And like there, 
maybe? Doesn't look centered to me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that alright? I'm just gonna put it here. Call it a day. It's good enough for me. Let's say you don't want that, alright? Um, you go over down, you can delete all layers, or you can just delete this layer. I actually don't know, so I usually just cut it. <laughs> and we're gonna put it where it should go. Over here on the hood. So we're gonna paste. Pasting's easy. Now you can select it and go to change position. You can move it to where you want it. We're gonna move it this way. Oh, one more thing is if you press Y to stamp, it'll uh, it'll just stamp it there, and then you can move move it around some more. I want to spin it a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. Make it a little bigger too. I could put it there if I want to. Might do. Might have to do. Be good enough. I think that's good. I think we're looking good now. What do you think? It's a little, a little crooked. So uh, I'm gonna do it again on the other side. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Where I should, I should have stamped it and showed you that how that works. But it's okay. I I'm sure you guys understand. I also forgot to memorize what size it was, but that's okay. Also, I feel like the camera moves too slow. I don't like that. It takes forever to move things around. Alright, it's definitely bigger. <laughs> I think it's about that big. That's gonna have to be close enough. That's good. Alright, now we're ready to go. Would you like to save? Yes. I would like to save and not do that all again. By the way, I'm doing all this live. I actually haven't practiced any of this. I'm just kind of doing it. So here you can create vinyl group. And this is where you get this cool little grid. And you can put things together and make a bunch of like vinyl shapes. One sticker. Or one, one decal that you can put on later. Obviously you can load from Forza. And you can clear the cars design. So that's cool. Then you can load, obviously. If you save this over here in the design creator, um, there's a way to save it. You're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> but you can load a full design that you got off of the marketplace or your own designs. Um, there's a storefront where you can search. So you search all the different types of cars and designs. Search all the vinyl groups. Vinyl groups are not car specific. They're just, like I said, a bunch of decals put together to make something cool looking. Um, and you can search specifically car designs for your car. So like this. And then I'm going to sort by hitting X to most downloaded. And obviously, this would definitely be the most downloaded. <laughs> Alright. Because it's from the fourth stage. That'd be kind of cool too. But anyway, I like mine. Mine's good enough. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember to rate the video if you enjoyed watching me dick around in the paint shop. Next, I will go counterclockwise and we'll show you the marketplace. Yeah.